Hey everyone, Ken Ross here and I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for businesses by looking into their essential expenses. Here with some quick tips for you in your business. Have you ever thought about practicing gratitude in your workplace? I would say in the time in the times we are in right now, especially with COVID, that this would be a good practice for you in your business. So I'm going to give you some quick tips here on what it looks like to practice gratitude in your workplace and maybe some very practical thoughts or ideas that, that you could use to, to better your business. Because I honestly believe um, gratitude, the attitude of gratitude even, is something that's very key to, to optimizing your business, to saving you the most money ultimately in the end, because it will affect the morale of your of your employees, it will affect your own morale, and you'll be able to perform better and deliver a better product, better service in less time. So with that, let's kind of get into it. I got some notes here. I'm going to share them with you here, and uh, we'll talk about it. So first thing is gratitude changes our brains and I'll post a link down to uh, a study uh, that I'm that I've been looking at that also kind of talks about this but it's been there are several studies on the long-term effects of gratitude that what gratitude uh, offers you are increased happiness and decreased instances of depression um, and it has also been found to include those who suffer from mental illness that the in impact of this actually shows up in brain scans. And so this is something I want people to understand, right? The mental anguish and the mental stress of this time has definitely had some effect on your brain. So how do you counteract that? You counteract that by practicing happiness. Okay, so step two, why, why could this be? Why could this be? Practicing gratitude by writing weekly gratitude uh, letters or journaling, for example, um, does not solve problems or make issues go away, right? Why, why is this even a practice that should be followed? Why is, you know, why would, why would you want to do these things? Um, and that, that would lend some benefit to your business, right? That's, that's basically the question I'm out to answer. The way I can, I can best answer that is that, do you have a lot of conflict in your business? Do you have a lot of disgruntled employees or you having troubles keeping them, right? These types of things certainly have something to go back to the mental aspect about what I was talking about at the beginning, right? If there is a, a mental block or a mental struggle or frustration, it could be tied to discontent or some other type of frustration with your job and your job is only going to add to that frustration if you can come to your workplace and and gratitude is something that's practiced on a regular basis you're going to enjoy coming to your workplace you're going to want to go to work right it'll be an escape to you almost in some sense so that would be why so the last part of this is how can you practice gratitude in your workplace what are some practical steps and i'm going to give you some so let me let me uh, get to that First, first thing is pay attention to the very little things, right? The minute things that happen in your workplace. Do you have some, someone who makes coffee every day or is always looking out for the place, like picking up and cleaning up? Point those things out. Be grateful to that person. Explain to them how gra grateful you are that, that they do that, that they take time to invest in the overall health of the business, how it looks, you know, taking pride in and being clean. That's something that certainly will help st stick out in a, and, and contribute in a long way towards this attitude of gratitude. That's the first thing. The second thing, shout out to your coworkers and do that in public spaces around other employees, right? This ultimately shows that you are grateful for that person in front of other people. And those other people can't ignore that, right? So it's, it's a double win in the sense that it win, it's a win for you because you wanna practice gratitude. It's a win for that person because they're the, ones, they're the one being shown gratitude. And it's also a win for other employees because it will help them and it will, help, it will, it will spur them on to want to do good things so that they can be recognized as well. Uh, the, the next thing, um, write thank you notes, right? Not just to 
your colleagues or your other employees um, in business, but to clients as well, right? It's something that a lot of businesses say they wanna do or some businesses actually do in some ways, but they don't have the time or they don't invest the time to actually do it, right? Thank you notes and an attitude of gratitude should be something that is not just pushed aside. It's not something, it's not an afterthought. It should be ingrained in the culture, right? Thank you for investing your time in this business, in, in giving your, your, your time to work this business or your passions to work this business. That would be a, a good way to express gratitude to employees. But to your own clients, they're the ones who pay you. They're the ones that keep your business in business, right? So why not express gratitude in some way? It's just a thought. The last thing is one for you, right? And this is one I really think is something that I've started to practice a lot, and that's create a special inbox in your email inbox just for gratitude notes. When someone is showing gratitude towards you or thanking you for doing something, take that email, put it in a special folder, and tuck it away, right? And then once you face adversity in your business or face adversity in your own life, right? Go to that folder and read what others have said about you and how grateful they are to you. I would imagine that that inbox, whether it's used or not, is something that you could really leverage in your business, in your mental business, right? Because you all have a business that wants to do the best it can and the only way you're gonna do the best is, that you can is to be able to perform at your, your, your best rate at whatever your, <laughs> the best bar is, whatever the standard is, right? And when you're below standard, you need to do something about that. And mentally, it's, it's exhausting to think that you're always going to be on your A game all the time. So plan ahead, create yourself a special folder, start putting those notes of gratitude. Hey, thank you for doing what you do for businesses and, and how you invest in those businesses and the things that you've often done without really even noticing it, but yet someone has recognized you for that. That's kind of the full circle approach to this attitude of gratitude because if you're feeding, being fed gratitude, you're gonna echo it to everyone that you meet and everyone that you work with, and that's gonna ultimately deliver the best business that you can. And, and given, given this climate, like I said, with COVID and with everything else that's going on, you could certainly get to be a pessimist and certainly think about, well, what is the state of business right now? And where is it going? And, and, and really get yourself worked up over, you know, over that or over the politics of things or over what other people's opinions are, or maybe even your own uh, views and comments of your business right on your Yelp page or on Google uh, reviews you could get really hung up on those things or you can get really hung up on these things about how well or how much your your business is actually producing because you're thankful for for what they do so that's just the thought that's that's what I have today like I said I'll put some references in the comment section below please check those out um, and please really invest in this this mindset this thought Ingrain this into your culture and your business and I think you'll find that your business will improve and you may not know why, but I can tell you why. So thank you for being you and an expression of gratitude. I really do thank you for your time and what it is you've invested in um, my channel and in watching this video. Please comment down below. I would love it if you could do that for me and help me understand some other topics that I want to want to cover or that, that I could cover, I guess, not want to cover. I will want to cover them if you put them in the comment section. So please do that. I would love to do some research, would love to talk to you about that, would love to have a great discussion on those things. And if you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. Invest some energy in, in, in showing your thankfulness for what it is I'm producing by subscribing to my channel. That would be great. Um, and lastly, tell your friends that this exists. Help them understand that there is a resource out there uh, who wants to help with an exchange of information, who wants to help small businesses. I'm really invested in saving you money. I have a goal and you can go and watch uh, my YouTube series on how to save you money regardless of what it costs me because I'm producing these videos. I'm, I'm taking the time to give you tools 
to help you save money today and I want you to do that. So please go check that out. My goal is to save 52 businesses this year, whatever, on, on some of their expenses, whatever it costs me, right? And so please check that out. Let me know if that actually is working for you. Um, I, I try to keep track of that um, every week because it's one a week. I'm trying to find one company a week, one business owner a week that I can save money um, doing this with. So um, that's what I have for today. I am Ken Ross. Please check out my website, IamKenRoss.com. And until next time, I'll see you around.